Hello, my name is Pedro and I'm the composer on Star Citizen. I met Chris uh, sh shortly after the Kickstarter process uh, initiated and I, I just sent him an email. And then we exchanged some musical ideas about the game on Skype. Uh, he enjoyed my ideas and then I composed a demo of him, which he enjoyed very much. And then it eventually became the Star Citizen main theme. And it's al it has already been performed by a real orchestra and it's, it is sounding magnificent. I was already experienced when I started uh, working for Star Citizen. Uh, I've scored these classical scores, uh, TV commercials, films and games like Star Citizen. But Star Citizen helped me to explore musical genres that I usually, usually would not be hired to score. Uh, through the commercials I've scored, uh, like the Trihan and I, which is a piano, emotional piano, uh, the Aurora commercial, which was a UK pop thing, and then we had the Hornet commercial, which was more like a hybrid score, an action score. And then a very odd thing for me, the Freelancer commercial, which was kind of a, a Western, was filled with guitars and almost no orchestra. Um, I believe that that has helped me to uh, expand a little bit of my, uh, of my abilities uh, and actually helped me to score, as a professional, to score, to use, use the orchestra in other ways that probably before I, w I wouldn't think as much. Game, nowadays, games are becoming uh, a lot like films. They are narrative-driven, and there are a lot of emotional content in it. I personally love to play games where you feel like you're part of a bigger thing, of the bigger story. That's what made me love Wing Commander that Chris Roberts did a long time ago. And that's also what Chris Roberts has in mind for Star Citizen. There's another, another set of challenges in the, in when you're scoring a game, is that there are sections where you're not so, so much story driven like in the Persistent Universe for Star Citizen, where the music that you, can, where you compose for those sections, they will be heard like 60 or 100 times. So you have to figure out ways to make music less repetitive along uh, a, a long place a player section. We'll use uh, the, uh, the interactive music engine to create layers of music that will respond and adapt to what actually the player is doing in the world. I strongly believe that Star Citizen will uh, take a leap in how interactive music has been used throughout the times uh, in games and will definitely improve the, uh, the user experience and the playability of the game. In Star Citizen we have uh, some cool ideas that, that probably would not done before in the, in the video game industry. For the racing, uh, race the module that's coming out, uh, where the music is more, much more dance driven, uh, like uh, it's like an, an EDM kind of track, we will we're thinking about releasing the track in stems so that backers out there or musicians can remix the music and uh, and then we will take the best remix of course that's it will be very hard <laughs> to pick which one is actually the best but we are hoping that the best one will be then uh, uh, mastered and mixed in, in a, by a professional and then it will be included in the race mode in the game uh, we have an idea of using a choir for we already have a choir in the main theme of our game. We want that choir not to be sang by a professional choir, but but, this, but be sang by uh, everyone, by all the gamers and their families. Uh, they all combine itself and they work together in, as a unity, just like uh, all, the, all all of us as, as backers. All the backers are working uh, as a unity to make this project happen. And that's uh, I believe that will be a very uh, interesting thing. I believe each industry has its own set of, uh, of the difficulties that you have to go through. And I, I believe that I've learned a little bit from each of kind of industry. And, but in the end, to be honest, I believe there are only two kinds of music, which is good or bad. And I really work very hard to do the first one.